Hey, what's good? What's good? Rum and Coke Radio back to y'all each and every Tuesday right here. Myself, the short one. We got Dizzy D, who still needs to unmute himself. Oh, we're moving on. We we got Miss Holiday. Yo, yo. (laughs) (laughs) Now that you're back, can you please uh, reintroduce our guest, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Our boy, Jared Joseph. What up, brother? How you doing, man? Uh, I'm happy to be here with you. I'm just fine. uh, Fine evening. That's what's up. I'm in your house. I'm in your house. You've been wanting to come over. I've, I've been uh I've been asking, yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have had I shouldn't have had to, but it's very I true. I, I was scared, yeah. you know, as a as a friend to friend, <laughs> I just don't like to poke at my boys like, hey, let's do stuff. And uh, uh no man. Oh. I'm happy you did ask and it's great to have you here. Welcome. Yes, I was gonna say thank you for I thought you were joking, but for the people who just tuned in, he is joining us all the way from London, and it's 3 a.m., so that's wow. pretty dope. Um, yeah, thank you very much for staying awake for us. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, it's all I, material for my song, 3 a.m. in London. But. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry my dear, please chance, continue. <laughs> I've had the chance, you know, to kick it with you, but for our audience who don't know exactly who you are and what you're about, introduce yourself, talk to our people, let them know who you are, where you come from. I see the YYC represent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Jared Joseph, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, hey. I, I play the, the, the gay black security guard on the 100. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's how you that's how you gonna say it just like that. And we, and we out here. I've known Dizzy for well over a decade. We're talking like I would say early two thousands at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah this. Not super deep at that time, but we come from the same places, same and uh, it's cool cool to see what you're doing. Same with you, Miss Holiday, and uh, full circle. Here we are. And it's yes. amazing to see you out there doing it. You know, I know you left Calgary, went to Vancouver. When was that? When did you leave to come to Vancouver? 2007. 2007. So, like, how did you, like, when did you start with the acting? I never knew you were really trying to go full force with acting, brother. I, never... <clears throat> I wasn't. I mean, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this shit saved my life. I mean, mm-hmm. I, was a, I was a little little ruffian, making noise, <laughs> making making messes, it was getting harder to clean up the messes the older I got. And, uh, you know, at the time, by that point of putting myself in the hole that I put myself in, I mean, there wasn't much else to do, but the the arts essentially, uh, for the kind of life I wanted to live, mm-hmm. my, my options were thin at that time, you know, um, school was out. Um, yeah, I, I just picked it. I, I did the old cliche of what, would, what do you love to do? And I said, I got nothing to lose. I mean, you know, man, I, I don't want to get too into it, but it, it could have been pretty bad for me if I didn't find something. And I, I definitely feel like I found the right thing. So this Shame. was the place to do it. This is the place to do it. And I, I looked. I, Go ahead. Sorry. I, I, I just looked up that uh, places that don't snow in Canada, too. <laughs> Vancouver is what popped up. <laughs> that was a large part of it. I mean, I always talk shit when I was a kid. I would, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And I think at that point my family was like, "Yeah, okay, Jared, okay, okay." But when I said I was gonna do this, I I, I didn't even know I was actually gonna do it. I knew I was gonna come out here and do what I did with every other thing in my life and say I tried it, it didn't work. Mm-hmm. But when I started doing it, I I never left. It's the first time in my life I ever committed to anything. So <laughs> that's it. You know? How did you get? How did you get into it? Because right now my sister just graduated. Um, film school to mm. become an actor and I said nah girl you just need to come to Vancouver they're lacking black folk out there they'll see you pretty yeah. soon and then pick you up so like did that happen to you or did you take some classes I mean the internet did tell me that there weren't a lot of black people here as well so <laughs> that, <laughs> that that didn't hurt and I mean at that time especially I didn't see a lot of young black male actors so 
that got me excited to do it. So when I got to Vancouver, I got pictures taken. Um, I, I uh, went into an agent's office and I said, is this where you become an actor? And <laughs> I, guess, I guess she agreed with me on the black thing and signed me. <laughs> she didn't know I could even speak more than six words, but she put me on. But this was, this, like I said, this was like the traveling circus. I joined the circus, you know, it's kind of place where you can have any kind of pass and if you're good at it, you're allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. So to what, to what you're saying is just go and do it. There's a lot of merit to that because it's, yeah, if, if you could do it, you could do it. And that's what, that's what I loved about it. So I, yeah, I just did all the steps that I found on the internet and then auditioned until I got decently good at it. And then it just continued to grow, but man, I suck. <laughs> oh yeah. But they were letting, they were letting me go in there because there was three of us in the city at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's, that's, that's the real honest truth. That's a real honest oh. answer for real. So, yeah, no one else uh, would take you it. Just you just inspired me to, to just try it because I swear my mentality going into Vancouver was, listen, okay, I'm just going to hopefully walk past one of these sets and they're going to be like, yeah, we want you. But unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So <laughs> well, you know what? Absolutely not. I almost forgot that I, I was an extra for like two years. And I'll tell you, that shit don't happen. <laughs> really? That, really don't. Oh, I, every day I went, I thought they were going to say you, the skinny fat black guy, come but it never happened. Um, but yeah, those are two different worlds. But you know, you can make a good living doing that. I supported myself for that for about those two years while I was in classes and in school doing that stuff. So yeah, don't try so and get discovered, but do pursue. So, so you did take you did take act class act like acting classes. I did, yeah. Class. Okay. I did, how yeah. long how long did you do that for? Okay, let's just get into it. I, when I moved to Vancouver, within the first six months, I got stabbed six times outside of a club. And then my mother flew from Calgary to come be with me. And I made a commitment to her that I wasn't gonna put her through anything like that again. She grabbed the, the phone book or whatever numbers that were in at that time, 20, I don't know. <laughs> and that was the internet. She Googled uh, Vancouver acting classes. And she found the first one that popped up and I was enrolled when I was able to walk again. And that's, that was when I was off and running from there. That's so, that's that's I just picked one at random. I picked one at random, but yeah. And then I ended up going to a full-time school. I did that for a, a year. So thanks. A lot of what school did you go to? <laughs> I went to New Image College of Fine Arts. Hey. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, acting was better than getting stabbed again. That's the long and short of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. amen to that. And you're not a wild boy no more. You don't just get yourself stabbed up out there, thank God. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's an old me. <laughs> <laughs> On top of all the acting and all that other stuff, back in Calgary, looking at what you are draped in, you yeah. you got a you got a little line going on there. I see with a fanatic and all that. This is uh, year two of doing my my stuff with the Calgary Flames, my own designs. Mm -hmm. uh, of all the things that have happened to me since I got into this industry of entertainment and all that, that this is still like the coolest thing for me. My, my hometown team let me draw pictures and make clothes. And yeah, man. Yeah, the Jerry Joseph signature line. It's, That's it's, sick. It's incredible. How did, you I got... even, how did you even get presented that? Like, did you go to them and say, hey, or, you know, like, how did you stumble across that opportunity? Well, when they found out that I was from Calgary, they kind of we kind of had like a little relationship with, you know, on Instagram and Twitter, just fun stuff. And I had thought for years of a way that we could connect or something, but nothing really popped up. So we did have a connection with them and I had this idea. I had started doodling around and then we got a conference call with them and I pitched it. And fortunately they liked what they saw and then we made it. But it's one of those things like acting has taught me. It's like, the worst thing you can ever hear is no. So I just asked. Mm -hmm. So good for you. Yeah. We have this little trivia game that we are going to play. <laughs> seeing as it's 3 a.m., you're drinking tea, where I'm drinking a mimosa. Why are you drinking a mimosa? Huh? 
That's the most random shit. He's drinking a Bud. Why are you drinking a mimosa? Oh, I thought he was. I th- oh, no, I, I did that for you. I did it for you. I did it for you. I did it yeah, for you. Yeah, he he was drinking a tea and then he he upgraded for us. All right, yeah. perfect. That's cow. Okay, that's so cowboy we're gonna beer. Play this um, trivia game that is in courtesy of fanpop.com. Uh huh. So we're gonna see how many. I'm gonna ask how many questions do you think I should ask this. Five. Five. Okay. And we'll see how well you know the show. Okay, so how many genetically modified animals does the group encounter? So A, two, B, we don't know, C, one, or D, none. Oh, one. One. Yeah. It says you got the last question wrong. The answer was number two. That makes sense. I. I only know about that deer. Mm. Yeah, that was in like the, the first. Uh, I don't know. Listen, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, my friend. But like, okay, let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Yeah, yeah, we're going in. We're doing the five. Okay, yeah, okay. Why did Wells get arrested? To fall <laughs> apart? To sorry, B for pissing off his father. C to escape the art. Or D for stealing supplies. That's a hard uh, one. Uh, <laughs> I remember. It comes, it comes before D, C? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> C! <laughs> C. <laughs> what? Oh, so, to follow part. I've been through a lot, dog. Father, to escape the art or for stealing supply. Oh, for the, the, uh, the, uh, for following Clark. You got it right. I know my show. So if he gets it right, then we have to take a shot? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta take a sip. I'm, I'm taking a shot either way. So I'm empty. I'll do it with you either too, because it's three a.m. You got me drunk. So it was like, <laughs> what was Abby's crime? A. Having a second child. B. Wasting drugs. C. Theft. Oh, or like D. Season one. Treason. Oh, treason. Ooh. Eh. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you got the last question wrong. The correct answer: right. wasting drugs. Never waste the drugs. Shit. Wasting drugs. Damn. Yeah. So take a sip of your drink yeah. or a shot. I I don't know anyone in Hollywood that's wasting the drugs. So that I didn't think that. Would be. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be in it. <laughs> Oh okay, who was the first to call Clark Princess? Octavia? Yeah. B. Bellamy? How do you say it? Bellamy. Oh, Bellamy. Bellamy? Okay. <laughs> or C. A, B, or C? <laughs> B. Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of voice is that, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jared, you got it wrong again. <laughs> oh shit! The correct answer was Finn. Ooh. Oh, Everybody on live is like Finn, easy. <laughs> He's just, that makes you know sense. What? It's three a.m. There, He's tired, guys. He's tired. Actually, no. A bunch of people thought Octavia. A bunch of people thought it was Octavia. Lincoln, first step foot. On MT Weather. <laughs> MT Weather. What is this? A rapper? Mount- <laughs> <laughs> no, read it. Read it. Read it. That's what it. That's what it says. Who first stepped foot on MT Weather? That sounds like a member of the Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> it's Mount Weather. Mount Weather. That's Mount oh, Weather. Oh fuck! My bad. But hey, I got A. This one. Finn, B. Clark, C. Jasper, or D. Octavia. MTU. Oh, that's hard. D? Yeah. <laughs> Your final answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Boy, you better drink. <laughs> wow. First of all. I'm sorry, you got the question <laughs> wrong. The correct <laughs> answer. Jasper. Everybody yep. in the lives like, you can't weather. I'm like, 
Why? Okay. My wasn't as bad as Dizzy. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Yeah, it was. What are you going to say, dude? All Jared? I know is, is we didn't have to drink, so he People got think I'm playing. People really think I'm playing. Up. Let's go. People think I'm playing when I say this. I've, I've said it for my entire time on the show. I've never seen a full episode of the damn show. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. and, I'm an, and I'm an egomaniac, so I would have wanted to win that game. So I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I would never incriminate myself like that. But I don't know. I, all the stuff you were telling me, I was trying to revert back to like the trailers. So I know but, uh, the deer. Ah, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can I hear that. I don't. I barely ever watch one of these over. Like I'll press play and like let it play just to get the likes and like the plays and shit. But like <laughs> I, once I hear myself yeah. or see myself, it's, I'm like ew, yeah. fuck that nigga, and I just like go to something else. So I hear you. Yo, drop your plugs. Where can people find your gear? Where can people find you? What are you working on, brother? I mean, you can find me somewhere in the background of the show. Uh, you can find me in the physical in London, England. Uh, you can find the gear on the Fanatic website, uh, the Calgary Flames official merchandise site. And uh, season seven of the hundred premieres May twentieth. Yeah, I'll be in there somewhere. You know, <laughs> somewhere in there. See, so when do you get back to uh, Canada, my friend? As soon as I'm allowed to leave it again once I come. We'll catch up with you, get a picture like we normally would. Oh, sure. yo, we gotta do a real in in house interview. Get get to I would love to real and like do it yeah. for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like talking shit with you guys. Most definitely. We'll get on real topics next time. Just straight up bullshit topics. Whoa. Talk so much mess. Yeah. Like we did to Cashy. Dizzy. Dizzy. Yeah. Mm hmm You know I can talk my shit. That's very true. <laughs> Oh, you know I mean, what? Before we go, I know you're a huge fan of like the Calgary Flames and yeah. I know you love the Toronto Raptors dear to your yeah. heart. We know that they are still uh, champions till this day. Tell me, and still. What, are, what are you doing to make do with the time with no sports actually being live? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, you know what? That is a great question, but uh, we're nothing. You know, and I'm not like retroactively watching like uh, Boston Celtics, Sacramento Kings, 1998 games, like, <laughs> like, replay it. Like I'm not doing any of that shit. But I tell you what, the UFC just came back uh, last Saturday, and they're gonna continue doing uh, events. They have one tomorrow night, which is Wednesday, and then they have another one on Saturday. So UFC is pushing forward, and UFC at this point, MMA as a whole is probably taking like precedent as my favorite sport. So I couldn't be I couldn't be happier. I mean, the other leagues are gonna come back when they come back. Uh, I I, would, I don't really even want to watch that without the, the audience and all that. So we'll see. But I don't want them to rush back. Do you know what I mean? Like I wanted I wanted to be right. But yeah, the UFC man. I'm just I'm back watching that shit. You know, everybody on the live does not want me to let you off this live. Yes, yes, yes. Because. You know what it is, Roman Coke Radio, each and every Tuesday, right here. Myself, the show, and we got Dizzy D. Hey. We got Miss Holiday. Yo, yo. Super big, humongous, ginormous. Shout out to Jerry Joseph staying up late to be with us today. Hey. Shout out to the homie. And when you get back over here, we're doing an in house interview ASAP. Deal. All right. What's up? <laughs> But for the rest of the show, just until Ray Diamond. And also, you know, we need some hoodies and stuff from you, my friend. Uh, that hey, hey. G Y Sway. Talk about it on the sly, yo. <laughs> Get him on the little DMs, you know what I mean? No, you got to put him on the spot to hold him accountable for that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he might be spiteful. He'd be like, yo, fuck y'all. I ain't doing that shit. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, yo. oh he's pretending he's on mute. Ah, well, look, he's not, yeah, it's, it's not on mute. I see it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's not on mute. <laughs> Why is your mouth so moist, weirdo? I can hear him whispering. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we got this weirdo out of here. Shout out to him. Thanks for coming through. That's the homie for real. We're gonna jump back in the mix with three diamonds and play some <laughs> glass music till she gets bored, and we're gonna be here dancing. I, I'll probably make some steaks. You're yeah. radio. You're Thank you. Robin Cole Radio Robin Cole Radio Radio